low residency candidates. Today, let's talk about how to best follow up with programs. Now, there are three main methods for following up with residency programs throughout the interview season after you've applied. And those are to create a handwritten letter to programs, to email programs, or to call them. Now, each of them has its pros and cons, and let's talk about a few of them now. So our Match a Resident recommended method is for handwritten letters. Now, obviously you can't write handwritten letters to all the programs that you've applied to. So we recommend picking your top 10 or 20 programs that you really want to make a great impression for. And the content for handwritten letters or emails and even phone calls can be relatively similar. So let's talk about what should be included for handwritten letters and emails specifically. Now, the introduction should be a little bit about yourself and the fact that you've applied to their program. And most importantly, you want to tailor the information to their specific program. It should not be generic. So make sure you're including specific information about what you'd like to see from that program or what you're looking forward to specifically about that program, potentially the geographic region, and anything you can add to make it as tailored and customized to each program as possible. So again, include some personal information about yourself and then information about the program and what you specifically like or would look forward to for that program. Of course, a thank you for reading the information and you would hope to hear back from them soon. It should be short but detailed while being concise. Now that's a hard balance to strike, so you may have to play it by ear depending on your style and what you're trying to convey to the program. Something that is also helpful to include for emails especially is your AAMC ID as well as a very professional photograph, perhaps the one you used for Eris if it is very high quality and professional. This helps make sure your application is very easy to find and helps create a more personal connection with the programs. So again, the content for handwritten letters and emails can be very similar. And one thing for the email is the subject line, of course, and something to avoid is making it a spammy or clickbait type sounding subject line, of course. So something simple and straightforward could be something like a letter from your name and then residency applicant. So a letter from Zeph Lee, residency applicant. And this is enticing enough, it's somewhat intriguing, ooh, a letter from a residency applicant, versus follow up with this program, or something like, please open, please open. Of course, you're not gonna do that, that's common sense, but something concise and professional for the subject line, of course, is best. Now, for phone calls, keep in mind there is a little bit more risk to phone calls because it's almost like a pre-interview if you do get in contact with the program coordinator. And if it doesn't go well, you didn't really increase your chances for getting that interview. So only make phone calls if you are extremely well prepared, if you generally come off well when speaking over the phone. And again, you can just try to follow up with the program, express your interest in the program itself and what you're looking forward to, and that you'd love for them to take a look at your application, if they have any questions to reach out to you. Um, otherwise, you'd be happy to discuss things further if they were so kind to, as to grant an interview opportunity. And just be engaging. Don't be afraid to ask questions about the program um, to help just show your interest and make it more of a two-sided conversation rather than you just spewing off at the program coordinator. So again, calls are a little bit more tricky. Again, we wouldn't necessarily recommend doing it to every single program, but perhaps for those programs that you feel comfortable with calling or you have a personal connection, make that call, make that extra effort. And combining all three of these is definitely not out of the question. So you can include a handwritten letter plus one or maybe even two follow-up emails um, that are spaced apart, not all at once, and even a phone call. So combining these follow-up techniques can be helpful Many applicants will follow up with residency programs and then the next day or within that week, they'll get another handful of interviews. So it can be extremely effective. Um, we do recommend taking the time 
to tailor each and every single letter or email and make sure you're very well prepared for phone calls. Now, in terms of who to address the outreach to is typically the program coordinator. If you have a special connection or you've done a rotation at that hospital, you can also address it to the program director. Um, sometimes you may wish to CC the program director, although some applicants feel less comfortable with contacting the director rather than just the program coordinator, who's essentially the gatekeeper for that program. Uh, we do have a blog that details all this information and you can check that out below. And of course, if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment and we'll be happy to get back to you as quickly as possible. Thanks so much, everybody. Best of luck to you and take care.